All right, so let's talk about the math a little bit on the quick wind, because um, it can seem a little complicated, um, but once you understand it, it's it's actually quite easy. Um, once you can learn how to do, um, most of the time you can really just do it in your head if you keep it simple. So let me run through the explanation. So we're gonna call this a four mile an hour gun. It's, it's really 4.5 when I do all the math. So we can kind of call it, you know, you're good with either four or five. Um, I'm gonna go with four just because I feel like sometimes <clears throat> I underestimate um, how how fast the wind is, is moving. Um, I've been doing really, really well lately at, at getting it really, you know, pretty accurate. Um, but anyway, so we'll call this a four mile an hour gun. Um, so the way it works is um, you're gonna find what mile per hour is gonna give you um, <clears throat> whatever your distance is. So 500 is gonna be 0.5. So what mile per hour wind will give you 0.5 wind hold for a full value um, at 500 yards? And that is a four mile an hour wind. So four mile an hour wind, a full value, so three or nine o'clock, um, is gonna give me a 0.5 mil hold at 500 yards. It's gonna be 0.4 um, at 400, 0.3 at 300, 0.6 at 600. Usually, depending on the caliber, um, six to seven, it starts getting off a little bit, especially with a 308 because it's, uh, it's so, uh, you know, it's low and slow, little fat boy, but still, I love it. Um, so the way this works is, um, we're going to use our number four miles an hour and we're going to count up until we get, you know, fairly close to our wind. So right now we've been pushing somewhere between 12 to 15. So four, eight, 12. So it's three. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to take that three and we're going to multiply it by five because 0.5 for our wind hold. So five, 10, 15. So 1.5, or 15, 1.5 mil wind hold. Um, we are our cosine for our angle because it's not a full value wind. We are about somewhere between 3.30 and 4 o'clock. Um, so we're about about 85 percent it is kind of moving a little bit i'm going to call it 80 percent for good for easy math um so we've got 1.5 so 10 percent of 1.5 is going to be 0.15 so because we're at 80 percent we need to minus 20 percent so 10 percent is 1.5 i'm sorry 10 percent is 0.15 we're going to multiply that by two and that's to get from 100 percent to 80 percent so that's three mils, 1.5 plus 1.5 is three. So then I need to subtract three mils from my full value wind of 1.5. So if we have 1.5, I'm sorry, not three mils, three tenths of a mil. Let me clarify that. I hope that doesn't, doesn't just confuse you. So three tenths, so 0.3. So we've got 1.5 and we're gonna subtract Three, so that's going to give us 1.2 mils of wind hold with about a 12 mile an hour wind at you know somewhere between 3 30 and 4 o'clock and it's going to be a little bit on our low side because we're getting up to 15 but then it also drops off so um, again we're at 520 yards I'm gonna go ahead and dial that in so that for me that's gonna be three 3.4 mils and then I'm going to go ahead and dial the wind in. Uh, so the wind is pushing my bullet to the left. So I need to come to the right. So I'm going to go right back. One point. I forgot what I said. Five, four, three, two, one point two mils. And then we're going to take our shot. Make sure we got the bullet in. And safety off. And now, of course, the wind did just die down so I'm gonna wait since I dialed it in maybe wait till it picks back up a little bit and that's the problem with dialing your wind is then it moves around and we got pretty much a center hit beautiful so hopefully hopefully that all makes sense um, but that is our quick wind and as you can see, or as you can hear, because I don't have my other camera for downrange. See it one more time.
sau thế Hopefully you heard that. I'm trying to reload and get back on target before, uh, oh, my target fell. Beautiful. So that's quick win, really nice and easy. Um, for 308, it's gonna be, it's gonna work really well out to at least for, for what I've tested, 600 yards. <clears throat> My 6.5 Creedmoor, since it's going faster, it has a higher BC. It does really well out to seven, um, seven to, uh, say seven, maybe maybe pushing it a little bit at eight. And then if you got a, uh, you know, really high BC, like something like a 338, you can, you can do really well, nine and even to a thousand with the quick wind. It does work really, really well. Um, so, uh, that's, that's another example of a quick wind. I know I got some other videos of it, but man, I love it so much. It's so much easier and it's so simple. Um, if you come out here, like right now, I have no ballistic calculator. I have no equipment. Um, I can just use this method with a quick, quick wind, quick drop, and I'm, I'm getting hits. So, um, and it's not a huge target. Uh, most of the time I like to use at 500 yards, I'll use a five or a four inch target. Most of the time I'm using like a four inch. Um, this one is a, uh, I don't know, Lieutenant Dan, whatever size he is. But anyway, so uh, I got to go set my target back up and get back to it.